One year after the events in the first season, a girl in Pittsburgh with a 008 tattoo and her friends successfully rob a bank, while in Hawkins, the boys watch on as a new girl, Max, arrives at their school. Meanwhile, Will suffers from visions of a huge octopus-like monster in the Upside Down. Concerned about this, Joyce and Hopper bring him to Dr. Owens, the new director of the Hawkins lab. But he believes it to be PTSD because of the one-year anniversary of Will's disappearance. Later that day, Hopper goes to his cabin in the woods, where he and Eleven are secretly living together. Through flashbacks, it is shown how Eleven had escaped the Upside Down through a small portal. In the normal dimension, she wants to go trick or treating, but Hopper forbids her because he first wants to convince Owens to leave her alone. When he receives more reports of rotting pumpkin fields, Hopper finds out that the rotting substance looks like something from the upside down. Meanwhile, Nancy wants to tell Barb's parents the truth, but Steve claims that they would only be endangering their own lives. On Halloween's night, Will tells Mike about having visions of the Upside Down, while Mike tells him that he's been trying to contact Eleven. When Dustin then gets home, he discovers something in his trash can. The following day, Joyce's new boyfriend Bob tries to give Will advice about his visions and tells him to face his fears head on. After having been denied by Steve, Nancy persuades Jonathan to tell Barb's parents the truth. Dustin then shows the boys his discovery in the trash can, a slug-like creature which he names Dart. Will soon tells them that the slug is in fact from the upside down, since he recognizes its screeches. Later, Eleven decides to go look for Mike, but when she finds him at school with Max, she believes them to like each other and leaves feeling sad. When Will then follows Bob's advice to face his monsters, quite literally, he is instead infected by the huge tentacle monster. He loses his consciousness and is taken home by his mother. But when he comes back, he acts very strangely, demanding the house to be cold and starts drawing a connected system of something. Meanwhile, Nancy and Jonathan are taken to Dr. Owens before they can meet with Barb's mother. Owens shows them the portal to the Upside Down and confirms that Barb is dead and releases them. However, a sneaky Nancy has recorded the entire conversation. Through Hopper's research, Eleven finds out about her biological mother, Terry Ives, and tries to contact her, while Dustin finds out that Dart is in fact a baby Demogorgon. After realizing what Will had drawn, Hopper goes to a pumpkin field and starts digging to the Upside Down. Will then has a vision of Hopper and informs Joyce and Bob, with Bob puzzling together Hopper's location. In an effort to gain Max's favor, Lucas tells her the real story behind Will's disappearance, while Dustin asks Steve's help in finding the escaped Dart. Using her powers, Eleven contacts her mother, who reveals to her that she tried to rescue Eleven, but that Brenner stopped her by giving her a big dose of shock therapy, leaving her in a catatonic state. Eleven then also learns that there is another one like her. Later, Joyce and her party locate and save Hopper, but when the secret agents arrive and set everything on fire, Will is affected as well. He is taken to the Hawkins lab and Dr. Owens soon deduces that the huge tentacle monster has infected Will and functions via a hive mind, meaning that if they attack the Upside Down, Will will also suffer. Nancy and Jonathan then send the confession tape to the newspaper. When Dustin and Steve meet with Lucas and Max, they decide to trap Dart. However, when Dart arrives with muscle in the form of mature demo creatures, the group is hunted by the pack. But to their surprise, the monsters are recalled. Back at the lab, the tentacle monster uses Will to locate the Hawkins research lab and redirects the demo creatures who were attacking the boys and Max to the facility. After having found out about another girl like her, Eleven travels to Chicago and locates the 008 girl, whose name is Kali. Realizing they were both exposed to the same experiments by Brenner, they embrace each other as sisters. When Eleven tells Kali and her gang that Brenner is dead, they refocus their efforts on Ray, the guy who tortured Terry. During their time together, Kali learns Eleven how to efficiently use her powers by channeling her anger. When they then find Ray, he tells them that Brenner is still alive and Eleven force chokes him, but decides not to kill him after seeing a photo of his daughters. They then flee when the police are called, with Callie disappointed in Eleven. 
when after having a vision of the situation at the lab, she decides to return to Hawkins. At the lab, the Demogorgons and demo dogs start attacking and killing the personnel, with Mike, Joyce, Bob, Hopper and Owens fleeing to the security room after realizing that Will is a locator beacon for the tentacle monster. When they decide to escape, Bob is killed by one of the monsters. Outside the lab, the group then meets with Nancy and her group and they take shelter at Joyce's house. There, they figure out that the tentacle monster is the mind flayer in Dungeons and & Dragons and that it operates via a hive mind, meaning that if they kill it, the rest will fall as well, including Will. Via Morse code, they contact the real Will, but also give away their location to the Mind Flayer, who sends his demo creatures after them. However, they are then rescued by a heroic Eleven. With no time to waste, they concoct a plan to stop the Mind Flayer by having Eleven and Hopper close the portal at the lab. Meanwhile, the boys, Max and Steve, enter the tunnels to distract the demo creatures from Eleven and Hopper. A desperate Nancy then brandmarks Will with a poker, forcing the Mind Flayer to leave Will's body, while Eleven uses all of her power to defeat the tentacle monster and closes down the portal. Sometime later, Nancy's confession tape leads to the closure of the Hawkins lab, and Owens creates a birth certificate for Eleven with her official name now being Jane Hopper. At their school dance, Max and Lucas kiss, and Mike and Eleven do the same. Everything seems wonderful, except in the Upside Down, the Mind Flayer is still alive and observing our heroes. Thank you all for watching. For more Stranger Things and other recap videos, subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next recap.